The Sea of Azov, nestled between Russia and Ukraine, is a place of unexpected beauty. Its shallow waters shimmer under the sun, reflecting the sky in a myriad of blues and greens. This small sea, barely larger than Belgium, holds within its depths a story of nature's resilience and human impact. It is a sea of surprises, where the echoes of ancient civilizations mingle with the challenges of the modern world. The Azov may be small, but it is far from insignificant. Its unique geography and ecology create a delicate balance, supporting a rich diversity of life. The sea teems with fish, attracting fishermen for centuries. Its shores, dotted with ancient ruins and bustling ports, tell tales of trade, conflict and cultural exchange. However, this delicate ecosystem is under threat. Pollution, overfishing and climate change are taking their toll, casting a shadow over the Azov's future. Understanding the interplay of natural and human forces is crucial for navigating the challenges facing this unique sea. The fate of the Azov lies in our hands, urging us to find a path towards sustainable coexistence. The Sea of Azov is a unique body of water. It is the shallowest sea in the world, with an average depth of just 8 meters. This shallowness, combined with the inflow of numerous rivers, makes the Azov's waters less saline than the open ocean. This creates a brackish environment, a delicate blend of fresh water and salt water. This unique environment supports a rich tapestry of life. The Azov is a vital breeding ground for many fish species, including sturgeon, herring and anchovy. Its shallow waters and abundant nutrients make it a haven for birds with numerous species migrating through or residing along its shores. The Don and Kuban rivers, the two major rivers flowing into the Azov, play a crucial role in shaping its ecosystem. They bring fresh water, nutrients and sediments, influencing salinity, water clarity and the distribution of life within the sea. This delicate balance, however, is sensitive to changes in water flow, pollution levels and climate patterns. The Sea of Azov holds centuries of history within its depths. Its shores have witnessed the rise and fall of empires, from the ancient Greeks to the Ottoman Turks. The strategic importance of the Azov as a gateway between the Black Sea and the Eurasian interior has made it a focal point of trade, conflict and cultural exchange. Ancient Greek colonies dotted the Azov's coastline, establishing trade routes and leaving behind remnants of their civilization. The Scythians, nomadic warriors, roamed the steppes north of the sea, their presence etched in the archaeological record. The Genoese, medieval maritime power, established trading posts along the Azov, further connecting the region to the wider world. The Ottoman Empire's control of the Azov in the 15th century marked a turning point in the region's history. The Ottomans fortified the straits connecting the Azov to the Black Sea, controlling access to this important waterway. The struggle for control of the Azov continued for centuries, with the Russian Empire eventually gaining dominance in the 18th century. The Sea of Azov has long been a source of sustenance and livelihood for the people living along its shores. Its shallow waters and abundant nutrients create a fertile environment for fish, making it a vital fishing ground for centuries. The Azov's bounty has supported generations of fishermen and their families, contributing to the region's economy and cultural identity. The Azov is renowned for its sturgeon, prized for their caviar. This delicacy, harvested from the sea's depths, has been a source of wealth and trade for centuries. Other fish, such as herring, anchovy and pike perch are also abundant, providing food and income for local communities. However, the Azov's bounty has come at a price. Overfishing, driven by demand and inadequate regulations, has depleted fish stocks, threatening the long-term sustainability of this vital resource. Pollution from industrial and agricultural runoff has further degraded water quality, impacting the health of the ecosystem and the safety of seafood. The Sea of Azov faces a myriad of challenges in the 21st century. Pollution, overfishing and climate change are taking their toll on this fragile ecosystem. These threats, intertwined and exacerbated by human activities, jeopardize the Azov's future and the well-being of the people who depend on it. 
industrial and agricultural runoff pollute the Azov's waters with chemicals, fertilizers and sewage. These pollutants contribute to algal blooms, deplete oxygen levels and harm marine life. Overfishing, driven by demand and inadequate regulations, has decimated fish populations, disrupting the food web and threatening the livelihoods of fishermen. Climate change is another significant threat to the Azov. Rising temperatures, changes in precipitation patterns and sea level rise are altering the sea's salinity, water circulation and overall ecosystem. These changes are disrupting migratory patterns, impacting breeding grounds and making the Azov more vulnerable to invasive species. The future of the Sea of Azov hangs in the balance. The challenges facing this unique ecosystem are complex and interconnected, requiring a comprehensive and collaborative approach to find solutions. Addressing pollution, overfishing and the impacts of climate change is crucial for safeguarding the Azov's health and ensuring its sustainable future. Regional cooperation between Russia and Ukraine is paramount. Shared responsibility for managing the Azov's resources, implementing environmental regulations and mitigating pollution is essential. International collaboration can provide expertise, funding and support for research and conservation efforts. Public awareness and engagement are vital for fostering a sense of stewardship for the Azov. Educating communities about the sea's importance, the threats it faces and the actions needed to protect it can empower individuals to contribute to its conservation. The fate of the Azov lies in our collective hands, urging us to act responsibly and collaboratively to ensure its survival for generations to come.